One of the things that you might have noticed in the previous video when we were doing the site to site VPN is that connectivity out to the internet or anything outside of the NSX environment was, well, not working. So obviously that's not cool, right? We need to still maintain you know, access to the internet if that is something that a particular VM might not have originally set up. So basically the problem that the problem statement, if you will, go ahead and pull this guy out here and oh it's there it goes. All right. Being a little difficult with me, that's okay though. Alright, so essentially the problem was is we have our edge services gateway set up and it connects down to a DLR. The DLR connects down to a couple of logical switches here. We have an edge services gateway over here connected directly into a logical switch. So there's VMs hanging off of here. There's VMs hanging off of here. <laughs> and we have a VM hanging off of here. There is currently a site to site VPN set up between these guys and traffic is flowing from these guys. Actually, which, let me switch over to green so it's easier for you guys to see. And there's traffic flowing through the VPN tunnel down to these devices. Okay, awesome. However, traffic going outbound to the rest of the network, no bueno. And the problem that we have, and the reason why it's existing, is that <sighs> these links right here and this link right there are not being advertised into it, whatever routing protocol was set up. So over here it was BGP, over here it's OSPF, so on and so forth. So because these logical switches aren't being advertised into their local routing uh, local routing protocols, the upstream CSR1000V that's sitting up here that's connecting into each one of them doesn't see it. He connects up to my core that connects up to the, the internet. Well, what we have to do is we have to fix this. And it's actually a really, really easy solution to fix. The solution basically is we are going to, for the subnet over here and the subnets over here, is we're going to turn on NAT here, specifically SNAT here, and SNAT here in order for this to work. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to say if any traffic from here tries to go out, it's going to be NATed over to this IP address, and any traffic from here is going to get NATed over to this IP address, which the CSR1000V does have access to and is getting advertised to the core, which will have internet access. So let's go ahead and actually go through that config. It's pretty straightforward. It's only going to take us a couple of minutes to do this, but I figured after the last long video, this might be useful. So I'm going to come over here to networking and security. And then I'm going to, the first one is going to be the DC one. I'm going to go to NSX edges and then I'm going to choose edge two, then NAT, and then I'm going to add a SNAT rule. We see some internal rules here. This is for the load balancer. So I'm going to do this SNAT rule. This one is going to be associated to the uplink. The protocol is going to be any and the destination or the source will be any. The translated address here will be 10.10.0.2. I'm going to click on add and then publish. And then I'm going to go ahead and test this from LVM3. Go ahead and log into my Linux VM here and then I'll be able to reach the internet. As you can see, I already tested this out. I'm going to go ahead and ping google.com and after a moment or so, that should go out. Oh, there it goes. It was just taking its sweet old time. All right, so that one's working. But we could also ping 172.29.101.11. That also works. So we can go over the VPN, plus we can also go out to the internet. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the other data center, which is going to be this guy. I'm going to go to edge one, then NAT. And I'm going to go ahead and add SNAT rule. And apply it on the uplink. The protocol is going to be any. The source is going to be any. And the translated IP address range is going to be 10.10.1.2. Click on add and then publish. Give that a couple of moments to do its thing. It's now there. Let's go over here to DC2 LVM1. Log into here. 
and we're gonna do the ping test from here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and ping google.com and we'll, we'll wait just a moment for it to reach out there. It's gonna take a couple seconds for that to happen, but we should get a reach, of, we should get pings to start showing up here momentarily. All right, so I'll ping Google first. Okay, that's working. I'm not sure why that's not coming through. Um, that should be working. Let me ping 10.255.1.1. Okay, that works. Okay, so that's in the outside of my network. For whatever reason, I might the, um, what do you call it? My ASA network object that I have might not be set up for, we do an IF config. The ASA object might not be set up in order to allow that specific subnet out. That's okay though. The bottom line is here, we have network reachability. I can ping, well actually no, that's not true. Let me go check that real quick because if that's the case, if I can ping quad eight, I should be able to reach quad eight. Let me just do a quick check on my firewall and make sure that, and the way you would do this on the firewall is I'll go ahead and log into it real quick. If you do a show con count, show exlate count, well, that shouldn't be the reason. It should be okay. Come back over here to Google. I mean, it's resolving the public IP, 172.17. Okay, there it goes. It just, all right, I was just being, okay, it's, it's working now, which is the bottom line. All right, so now that that's in place, we are good. We have connectivity to the internet from our VPN connections. And if I was to go to ping 172.29.1.15, I should be able to ping across the VPN and everybody's happy. If I was to pull up the this guy here and do an SA connection, I should see lots of data going back and forth between the endpoints. As we can see, we, can, we have packets out as four packets in. If I was to send this over and hit the up arrow again. We're gonna see that that number is climbing as time goes on, which is what we wanna see. So everything's working out the way that it should. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna thank everybody for stopping by and hanging out with me. I'll catch all of you in the next video.